When it comes to getting scared silly, sometimes it's the most subtle of moments that are the most terrifying. Especially when it comes to video games, where easter eggs and secrets run wild and free across the pixelated horizons. Ah, oh, there goes one now. Even when you're enjoying a title where something spooky has seemingly no chance of popping up, there is a sick sense of achievement from searching the wider world and finding something you know you really shouldn't have in all of its horrible glory. You know, just to reinforce that nothing is sacred and that terror lurks around every corner, just in case you forgot. While video game easter eggs are known for being funny or weird for the most part, there are just as many that are infamous for giving a new layer of unnecessary nastiness to haunt their players with. These video game secrets turn our favourite games into secret sneaky horror titles, and God bless them for it. I am the horrifying Ash from What Culture Gaming, and these are 10 video game secrets that tell horrifying stories. 10. The Joker Gets Burned Alive – Batman Arkham Knight Despite being one of the worst Arkham games, Batman Arkham Knight had a really damn good opening screen, featuring the Joker being cremated after his death at the end of Batman Arkham City. The game literally refuses to begin until you physically press the buttons needed to ignite the furnace and roast the kind prince of crime to cinders. But of course, there is a second, more disturbing layer to this. When you boot up a new game plus, when you ignite the furnace, the Joker's eyes will shoot open and he will begin screaming as his flesh burns off his bones and he is cooked like a Christmas turkey in the furnace. This adds a whole new layer of horror to the end of Arkham City, as the toxin didn't fully kill the Joker, just put him into a deep coma resembling death. But he was, in fact, alive at the end of the story, and probably for the police autopsy that most likely followed, only to wake up just in time to be burned alive. Gruesome. 9. The Cannibal – Assassin's Creed Unity Assassin's Creed Unity was infamously broken when it came out, which is definitely a shame because everyone rightly focused on how fundamentally unpolished it was instead of the genuinely and intentionally horrific stuff you found in the game itself. If you go to the Tuileries Garden and search along the coastline, you'll find an entrance that leads you to an underground cavern. Within this cavern is a cannibal preparing his next meal, and a bunch of poor, unfortunate French men and women on the menu. You're probably thinking that you should save these people, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, the game does not allow you to hurt the cannibal at all or free any of the prisoners. You just kind of have to look at these poor people begging to be set free by this dashing assassin who has found them and then turn and walk away, leaving them to their fates. The cannibal never shows up again and is never brought up by any of the other characters. See this sh right here? This is why no one likes you, Arno. 8. PT Murder Reports Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Hideo Kojima really wanted to make Silent Hills, which of course only makes its cancellation at the hands of Konami all the more infuriating. And whilst he was working on it, he dropped several hints to it in his other game at the time, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. And these are hints that carry certain, uh, implications that no one really knows what to make of. In Mission 20, poking around the Ngumba Industrial Zone will lead you to finding a radio. This radio, unlike the others, is playing a news report. The report talks about a series of grisly killings, which eerily reflect the killings hinted at in the demo for Silent Hills, PT. And when you reach Mission 28, you can find a different radio that follows up in the previous one. Except this time, instead of a news report, you get a chilling monologue from someone claiming to have been murdered by his father and how he's coming back, which is another reference to the events that would have transpired in Silent Hills. This, among other hints, implies that Silent Hill and Metal Gear Solid take place in the same universe. Which honestly explains way more than it should. 7. The Forgotten Crypt – World of Warcraft One of the most fun rabbit holes to fall down as a gamer is the idea of secret levels. Levels of games that aren't in the main experience, because they were cut out during production for various reasons, but have just enough code left behind for you to access if you mess around for long enough. Blizzard are no strangers to dark content in their games, but they have always been careful to not get slapped with an M rating when they don't want one. And since M ratings are the kiss of death to any MMO, of course they had to cut out an entire level from World of Warcraft. However, if you know what you're doing, you can still access the Forgotten Crypt, and then deal with the consequences of that decision later. For just a taste, take a look at the Upside Down Sinners, where you're transported to a sunken barge filled with corpses tied to strings that are floated upwards and upside down. It is incredibly spooky and incredibly fun to try and find. 6. The Infinity Killer – GTA V San Andreas in GTA V is one of the most detailed and multi-layered worlds in gaming history. A world so alive that you can find just about anything you're looking for within its limits, including some genuinely creepy stuff. 
Most people love to point to the ghost you find on the tallest mountain on the map as the go-to example of creepiness in this game. But really, nothing beats the breadcrumb trail of nightmares that is the Infinity Killer. The Infinity Killer was a serial killer who targeted joggers, managing to go through eight of them before being caught by the police. But the bodies were never found. Until, of course, whichever of the three heroes you're playing as investigates his burned down home in Sandy Shores. This will lead you to a penitentiary, which will then give you the clues needed to finally find out where the bodies are, buried at sea. The fact that you have to endure looking into this killer's broken, violent subconscious through these poems and clues makes this already creepy easter egg all the more disturbing. 5. The Sunken Scrolls Splatoon The world of Splatoon is, pretty much like all of Nintendo's games, bizarre. It is exclusively populated by sentient squid people, whose only form of entertainment seems to be cutesy death matches where squid people shoot themselves with ink guns until one side wins. And of course, as you travel the world of Splatoon, you start to notice more than a few similarities between the world the squid people inhabit and a sunken Japan. It turns out that that is no accident. One of the collectibles you can find in the single-player campaign of the game are the sunken scrolls. These scrolls lay out, quite clearly, the almost hilariously bleak backstory behind this brightly coloured world. Turns out the fan theories were 100% true, and this game does take place in a post-apocalyptic Earth. Humanity has long been extinguished due to climate change and global warming, the planet has been flooded, and squids have evolved to take the place of humanity as the dominant species. I guess it's only natural, really. 4. The Story of Ish – The Last of Us The Last of Us is a game almost doggedly determined to make you as sad as possible. Every inch of this damn game is depressing front to back, so it stands to reason that any secrets you uncover would only make things more depressing. So, enter the story of Ish. Looking around the suburbs will slowly unravel the story of a man named Ish. Ish was a fisherman who was out at sea when the proverbial feces hit the high-powered AC unit, leaving him unaffected but also very homeless, forced to build a home for himself in the sewers. Over time, he built up a community with other survivors, becoming a beacon of hope and survival for anyone lucky enough to find their way to him. But of course, this is The Last of Us, where nothing good happens to anybody ever, so due to a simple mistake, a horde of infected got into the settlement Ish had in the sewers, resulting in a lot of people dying and Ish just barely managing to get away with some survivors in tow. His buddy Kyle, on the other hand, was nowhere near as lucky. Trapped in a room with a group of children, the infected right outside about to knock down the door, Kyle killed himself and all of the kids to spare them the fate of becoming one of them. 3. Mia Vidello – Psychonauts Psychonauts, much like myself, is one of the best examples of being kooky and quirky on the outside and being just flat out messed up on the inside. The piece that by far stays with people who play this game the most though is discovering the secret chamber of Mia Vidello's mind. When we first meet Mia, she is a nice breath of fresh air, an optimistic flower child and the life of the party, whose mind heavily reflects this positivity. But do not mistake her kindness for ignorance, because this woman knows the true meaning of pain and loss. There's a secret room you can discover in her mind that shows Raz a vision of Mia's past. But unlike the others you find on this level, this one tells of a younger Mia, who once tried to raise an orphanage in her homeland of Brazil. One day she came home to the orphanage in flames, and the children trapped inside. All of them died that night. And if that wasn't heart-wrenching enough, since Mia is psychic, she could hear every single scream. 2. Headcrab Zombies Half-Life 2 If you want the best in the business at knowing how to be both subtly and explicitly horrific, you look at the ever-frustrating perfectionist hat makers, Valve. In the first Half-Life, you'll just kind of rightly assume that the headcrab zombies were thoroughly dead, with the headhumpers using their mutilated bodies as their equivalent to giant robots. But then, Half-Life 2 came along and laughed as it gave us all nightmares. The headcrab zombies now make horrifying noises when you encounter them. Worse yet, if you record the noises they make and run them backwards, you'll discover that they are not just garbled nonsense, but cries and pleads for help. God, help. help me. The headcrab zombies are still alive as they shamble around, in more pain than the human mind can possibly fathom. Makes blasting their heads off with a shotgun a lot more merciful, if nothing else. 1. Pretty much everything. Portal. With a secret so shocking it became one of the most famous memes in the history of the internet, Portal's many hidden horrors make an already dark comedy downright bleak. Portal, even more than any other Valve property, bulks at the idea of telling its story straight, instead smartly putting its dark humour front and centre. But through pieces of dialogue, context clues, and of course, the famous Ratman's dens, you find a much deeper, darker story at play here. Not only is this how you learn that GLaDOS plans on killing you, but that you're the latest victim in a decade-spanning killing spree. 
It started with GLaDOS killing everyone else in Aperture Science and kidnapping Shell as a little girl, whom we learn in Portal 2 was the daughter of one of the scientists and making her run her little mazes forever. There isn't a single plot point, character, or detail in these two games that isn't secretly terrifying, turning what was once a fun, if very morbid, sci-fi comedy into a horrifying, terrifying tale of being at the mercy of a psychotic AI with the body count in triple digits. And that's our list. What other creepy secrets belong on this list? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash over on social media at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more lovely gaming content. Thanks for watching.